Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. I'm coming to you live talking about five tips to become more confident while creating your videos because it's all about. Hello. Actually, I forgot to put these in. Hello, please help. Okay. I think I'm good. Um, okay, I'm streaming live. Let me just double check. Let me start over. I'm coming to you live talking to you about how to increase um, your confidence while doing video. I just want to make sure I'm going live inside my group. Uh, I didn't have my earbuds in at first. I apologize. <laughs> I do not have my earbuds in, so you guys probably did not hear me. All right, cool. What's up, Amanda? How are you, girlfriend? All right, so... Um, what the heck is this? They're going live using StreamYard before leaving at home. Okay. All right. Well, there's this little thing on StreamYard. Um, hmm. I'll have to deal with that later. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a fabulous, uh, what is today? Tuesday. It's my top tip Tuesday. I'm going to start doing these more and more. I just want to come in and give you really quick tips about growing your online business. I am an online business mentor. Um, you can check me out at thefreedomdesigner.com. I haven't officially, officially announced the new website or sent an email out yet, but I will. Still working on some things. All right, but listen, I'm going to share my screen with you because I have to talk to you today about video marketing because really video marketing um really helped to grow my brand and business and i know there's still a lot of people that i talk to that just like cringe at the thought of doing video if that is you i want you to drop me a poop emoji because that means you're scared of shit. scares the shit out of you right drop me a poop emoji let me know don't be shy if you are still scared of doing video or Facebook Live. Today I'm going to talk more about actual video marketing. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more into learning more about YouTube, you guys, and I'll talk to you more about that in a little bit. Um, sorry, I just keep looking down because I want to make sure. Can you guys hear me? Okay, just like give me a thumbs up. This StreamYard, I'm still really trying to get used to it. Um, Tiffany, that used to be you. I remember, girl. I remember. Tiffany's been with me for a while. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, Amanda, I have to do video way more. I got out of the habit. Amanda, so let me share something with you. Okay, listen. Um, I went through all of last year kind of, let's just say I went into kind of a dark hole where I from 2017 to, the, to what, like really 2016 to 2018, I hustled my butt off in my business, like hustle. Um, and I got very lost, very confused. I am a visionary entrepreneur. I am a creative and I love to create content. So what happens is I started creating all the things which then created all the madness and all of the hours I spent in this office creating stuff. I created over 80 funnels, sales funnels. I created all these different coaching programs. I created all these different digital courses. I mean, and I was still running my network marketing business. And in 2017, I switched companies. So if you know a little bit about me, um, you know my story. If you don't, I'm going to give you real high level right now before I get into the tips for today. Um, Julie Burke here, thefreedomdesigner.com. I have had a lot of success in network marketing. I've made over um, seven figures inside the network marketing space. And then in 2016, I turned to, um, I started my own trading company, basically. And I guess in, the, in a nutshell, I'm an online business mentor. They call me the online business bestie because they know that they can come to me and get a straight answer. I've done everything from creating courses to coaching, to creating membership, to creating an agency and running an agency. I built well over 80 sales funnels for my business. 
So I've done a lot. And through all of it, through coming online and really building my brand and all of the different um, roads of success, and when I say roads of success, if we're talking monetarily, in 2016, I added four additional income streams, already making multiple six figures in network marketing and developed a six figures in all four of those income streams. And you're probably like, holy crap, like how did you do that in 12 months? Well, through video, you guys, through video. However, I don't want you to hustle like I did. So today I'm sharing with you um, probably, I, I will share with you how to leverage your time, but also I'm going to give you these tips to help you feel more confident with video marketing. And I might talk a little bit about Facebook live as well, because I do it both. I do it both. Um, but in terms of leveraging, um, I'm probably going to get into more of content batching my videos if you guys know what content batching is it means basically you create your content for the month you create four videos and those four videos you literally can chunk out pieces of content and spread it through all of your social media channels in one month so taking a couple hours one day to film four like high quality videos that could be placed on YouTube, which we'll talk about later, that could be seen on IG stories, Facebook stories, your Facebook group, your um, Facebook page, your Facebook profile, you know, into your blog. I mean, all of it. That's how I operate my business. So it's about working smarter, not harder, right? So let me help you, first of all, understand why video is so important. I'm gonna screen share. Let me see if I could do this. No. Can you guys see this screen? Let me know. I'm giving it a minute. Okay. I think you guys can. So basically, hold on. Ah. Again, you guys, bear with me a second. Hold on. Actually, I wanted to get, I want to do this one. Oh, isn't this fun? We're learning StreamYard together. Okay. Okay. See, it's not always perfect. It's not always perfect. It's not always perfect. It's all good. Let me get there. I'm going to get us there. I just want to share with you some of these um, stats. What? Why does this keep popping up? Ugh. Guys, seriously. No, I don't want that. Here. Ugh. But then we lost my face. All right. I'm going to stop sharing because I can't figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read you. I'm going to read it. Yeah, guys, learn StreamYard. I'm trying to do this with, with us um, together because I just want to pull up these stats for video marketing. I appreciate you all being so um, patient with me. Uh, let me try one more time. Hmm. Okay. So, but I don't think you guys can see me and see my screen. I'm gonna have to figure, I'll have to figure this out later because I just wanna pull up this little Microsoft Word document, but I was smart because I printed it out. So let me just stop, I'm just gonna stop that. Okay, so here's just a few like statistics that I pulled off because I want you to understand the whole point of this is to help you become more comfortable with video, right? So to help you to become more comfortable with video, you need to understand why about the ROI of video marketing. Um, so just quickly, I did this right before I hopped on. And 
you know, is video marketing really worth it? And so this is as of 2020, these are statistics. Um, there will be almost a million minutes of video per second crossing the internet that is viewed. Like, is that insane? A million minutes of video per second. I, I, it's kind of mind blowing. 89% um, of video marketers say video has given them a good ROI, a positive ROI. I can confidently tell you that. You guys, I have. I was deathly afraid of video. Deathly afraid of video. And I ended up starting in early 2016. And I do video everywhere. I do it on my sales pages. I don't do it on my landing pages. I do it on my sales pages. I do video on YouTube. I do my Facebook lives. I have over 450 videos, I think, sitting on my fan page, which we'll get to that in a second. Like I've done video everywhere because it hits people in um, it's audit, like the auditory for those that learn through listening. It's visual like me, like I have to see um I have to see it. So it's visual, visual, kinesthetic, and the auditory. It hits all three sensories. And I think that that really is why it's it's so profound when it comes to your business. Okay, 83% of video marketers say video helps with lead generation. 87% say the video has increased traffic to their website. And 80% of video marketers say video has directly helped increase sales. 95% uh, plan to increase or maintain um, them doing their videos, their video spend in 2020. A video, here's the best part. Do you guys want to hear the best part? This is what I love because I hear this all the time. Well, Julie, you, you, you know, your videos usually range 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, because I'm on here, I'm talking to you guys like this is a Facebook Live, but typically a video training would not last this long if I was just creating a video. Typically, it's around five minutes. So a video that is two to five minutes gets the highest engagement. Why do you think? Why do you guys think that a video that is two to five minutes gets the highest engagement? Let's talk about that. Okay. Well, a minute, minutes of video per second. Yes, Amanda. Yes, a million. So two to five minutes gets the most engagement. Because I don't know about you guys, but I am a busy mom. I need to absorb things quickly. That with this is why I can't sit on a 60 to 90 minute webinar. Like I don't do webinars anymore. I just I can't. I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the time. This is why I've scaled back on my business now and what I focus on growing in my business and not doing all the things. Like I need simplicity. I need simple systems for my business. I need leverage because I am a stay-at-home mom and I have these boys home now. Thank you. No camps are open. <laughs> so they're upstairs right now waiting until I'm done with this. So the thing is creating this long video is typically not going to be great anyway. So just know doing a quick snippet. This is why stories um, are so great because it's 30 seconds, right? So doing a story, doing a two to five minute video, super, super um, helpful. So now here's how you increase your confidence. Real quick, I'm gonna go through these five steps. Number one is repetition, right? Repetition is the mother of all good. That's what I say, the mother of all good. It's the it's what is going to help you to feel more comfortable, feel more confident. Um, you know, believe it or not, you know, people are like, oh, you're you're such an extrovert, like you're so natural on video. Um, I'm actually more of an introvert. I mean, honestly, I kind of can't stand that we have to do video to grow our brand and business because I am an introvert. I don't work off of a schedule. I am an organic organizer. See, I know these things about myself. So if you tell me to be somewhere at a certain time and do something like I can't stand it and I don't have this big organizational plan, I'm an organic organizer. So listen, 
But to feel more confident and comfortable with something, and this was what I started doing in the beginning. This is why I started my fan page. This is actually why I started a business page in, back in 2016 was because for those of you that are actually watching this live from my business page, um, because I wanted a place where nobody knew me. So I started my business page and I started showing up and doing video. And this is before Facebook Live was born and all that. And I just started to get more comfortable with it. Um, you could even just turn on your camera on your phone. Crap, if I didn't just drop it. Oh, sorry, Lola. It woke up the doggy. Um, so you could just turn on your video on your phone um, and record a video. But repetition, you guys, that is going to be the number one tip I give you because the more you do it, you think that I show up natural like this, people are like, you're so natural on video. I, it comes with years of practice. It just comes with doing it over and over. I have recorded, I mean, let's think about this. 80, what did I say? I built over 80 sales funnels and I did a video for every single one of those sales pages. So let's just, okay, you can't compare someone chapter one to chapter 20. Just start doing it and get more comfortable. Now, I love video more than Facebook Live anyways, because I could take it and delete it. I can write my script. Um, there's apps that you can write a script and put your script into your app on your phone and you can read it. Again, repetition, so you don't look like a robot as you're reading, it comes off more natural and I have different tips for that. But that's what I'll do to create my video um, sales letters for my sales pages, okay? But I like it because Obviously, with Facebook Live, like, great, right, the dog can start barking, the kids could come in, and it happens all the time, and it's okay. You just kind of go with it. All right, so tip number one, repetition. Someone drop repetition in the comments, please. Number two, um, pretend you're talking to a real person. So when I was getting started, my very first video, I remember um, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so weird. I'm talking to my freaking camera. Um, it was odd. So <laughs> I actually put a picture of my best friend up on my phone. I know it sounds weird, but her, her name's Carrie. Like I actually put a picture of Carrie up on my phone and like, just tried to have a conversation, like was having a conversation with her. You guys, I know it sounds weird. Um, but it makes you feel more relaxed and it takes the pressure off myself when I'm pretending that I'm talking to a friend or I'm talking to um, a client or a customer. It just because, you know, I'm all about building relationships and that's what we should all be about. Right. So you just, you know, if you just take a deep breath and relax through it and know like there will be mistakes, it's OK. Like if you're doing a video, that's you can edit that out. It's not a big deal. Um, it's the Facebook Live, right? Because we're live that if something happens, you're just like, okay, well, here we go. This is it. But I have a tip number three for you, which is going to help you with that. So here's like a two-parter. Um, practice in stories. So if it makes you feel better, just hop on like I did today. And I did this little, hey, I'm going, uh, I did the story. It's probably still in here. Um, I just said... Let's see. Let me see if it's even here. You guys could see. Going live this morning inside of my Freedom Insiders Club. So make sure you are there. I also have a special announcement on Top Tip Tuesday today. I'm talking about why um, video, but not just that. Five ways to get more comfortable with getting your butt on video for your business. Okay. So here you go. Like. You can delete your story. If you don't like it, you could delete it. But again, it was just another step for you to just get com com comfortable with being on that video. Um, I don't have makeup on. I don't. I have nothing on. Literally, this is bed head, you guys. I threw some earrings on, on a tank top, whatever. Like, I don't care. It's about the message. I used to care about the vanity metrics. I used to care about the way I looked until I just like in the very beginning. And then I, I started actually forcing myself to do um, like, again, if you're doing video for a sales page, it's a little bit more because you want it to be more professional, but 
if we're talking about doing a story or doing a live, it's just show up as you are because you have to be more natural. Um, and I'm not going to just slap on makeup to slap on makeup because I hate makeup. Okay. I'm not a makeup girl. Um, so practice in stories, but then this is a two parter. So again, I know we're talking about video marketing, but if you want to get a little bit more comfortable with just showing up, um, I put this out there, I think last year and a lot of people really found it useful. If you're up late at night, like I am, cause I'm like a night owl. Um, I actually get some of my best work done at night. I'm like do a Facebook live <laughs> later at night, do a Facebook live at like 1130. You guys, so my network marketing company, one of our products is a detox. And it was one night at 1130 at night and I came downstairs in my freaking robe with glasses, my hair up in a bun. And I did a Facebook live to show people and demonstrate my detox. Legit. Like I took them, I took the cup, I started talking about the detox. I was just talking about life in general. Like I was chit chatting at 1130 at night with people and people were hanging with me. I didn't look my best, but you know what? I have people messaging me going, what is that detox? Can I have more information about the detox? Do you see? Like, just treat it natural, okay? I promise you. So practice stories and try doing a Facebook Live later at night if you, you know, it makes you feel more comfortable knowing maybe it's not as active as during the day. All right, number four, focus on helping others in your mission. So, so looking back on my first video, I definitely have cringed. I should probably post that sometime. It's actually pretty funny. Um, but as I look back through the videos I've created or whether it was a video or Facebook Live, I look back and I'll like go to the comments, um, whether it was YouTube watching a video or like I said, on my fan page where I have all my like video content library or my blog posts. Cause all my blogs are blogs. They're all my videos that I turn into blogs. Um, and I might get an email from someone saying, Oh my gosh, thank you for that message. You know, I go back and I look at it and I'm so critical of myself cause that's who we are. You guys were humans. We're just going to critique ourselves until, you know, whenever <laughs> the cows come home, right? Um, but when I started taking the focus, it was the same thing when I launched my first course. I was so nervous that no one was going to show up to my webinar, that no one was going to buy the course. And once I had a mentor say, stop thinking about yourself and letting your ego come into play and start putting the focus on others um, and getting them that information that's going to actually help them grow their business. I was like, okay, I hear you. Um, I go back and I look at all the products I've sold, or I'll look at a certain video I've done or a comment on you know, one of my blog posts and how much it has actually helped people to where I'll critique myself. But when it's coming from them, that's the greatest gift of all. So you focus first on the person that you're helping and who needs to hear your message. And that's five is that you do have a message like you're worthy of your message. Um, last year, I felt broken. Um, I felt like I went in this like really dark place. I was tired. I was exhausted. I didn't want to see a camera. I didn't want to do a video. I didn't want to do a Facebook live. I, I didn't want to do anything. And so I didn't, um, I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying like, I needed to take a break. Okay. And now look at, I'm back and I'm more clear on my direction. I've had time to um, reflect. And now I, I, I just want to help more people to really build a business and a lifestyle that brings them joy. Okay. That's why I'm moving more into a lifestyle entrepreneur. Yes. I had the success in network marketing and online marketing and affiliate marketing, but really it's about helping people 
drop the hustle, create more impact, work less, create more profit and more freedom, right? Without sacrificing their life. And that's really what I want to help other business owners to do. So I know today's training was a bit long. It was definitely beyond the two to five minutes, but I hope that you found value. If you found value, I would love for you to put hashtag value into the comments. Um, If you're catching the replay, right, hashtag replay. Now, I have a little special announcement. Thursday, um, I am pulling into my Freedom Insiders Club. So if you are not in my group, we just added 400 people this last week. How exciting. If you are not in my group, Freedom Insiders Club, you need to get in there. Um, because I am having the amazing Julie Reynolds. She's one of my best friends. She's a YouTube expert. So get this, the chick pulls in from her videos, from her YouTube videos, she pulls in customers. She has no clue who these people are, Um, but for her network marketing business, she's absolutely crushing it. Can you imagine creating a two to five minute video, getting it on YouTube, making sure it's being seen, and making passive sales while you sleep. I mean, think about that. So she's coming in and she's going to do, um, I'm going to interview her inside my Freedom Insiders Club. Um, and she might do a little training for us around YouTube. But we're going to dive deep into YouTube because you guys, YouTube, it's a search engine. It's not social media. It's a search engine. So imagine people searching and then finding you, whether it's for your network marketing business, your coaching business, your affiliate marketing business, um, you know, whatever your business is, imagine that they're finding you. OK, and I love it because your videos live on forever and we all know what happens with our stories. They don't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Julie's amazing. Um, so guys, I'm going to cut it there. I hope that this was helpful. I'm sorry for some of the flub ups. Uh, I have to look back how to share my screen again. Um, but that's OK, because we are live and that's how we roll when we're live. All right, guys, I'll see you later. If you haven't yet, head over to the and put your email in and get yourself that visibility guide. OK, I'll see you guys all real soon. Bye. See you Thursday. Bye.